everybody. What's up, guys? My name is Donix Triggers. Well, that's not my name. That's my game attack. So, okay. What's up, guys? My game attack. And nah, that's not the same. What's up, guys? My Xbox. That. Do you know what? Forget. It. What's up, guys? That's Donix Triggers here with gameplay and commentary on Black Opsicles. Um, 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 uh, 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 sorry about that, um, I'm just gonna be talking about whatever pops into my head, and at the moment that's cookies, so let's talk about cookies. There are many different types of cookies. There are white chocolate chip cookies, there are chocolate chip cookies, there are, I think there are raspberry cookies, there are vanilla cookies, there are, there are plain cookies, and then you've got double chocolate cookies, and, and other sorts of cookies. Ne um, but the next thing I've um, got to talk about is the Black Ops Resurrection map packs. And it's got a Z in it, or a Z, or a Z, or whatever you call it, and that somehow makes it seem cooler. So, as you guys already know, the map pack consists of moon and four recreations, so to speak, of the World at War maps, Natch Doan, Toten, Shin, uh, you guys probably don't care. So anyway, um... And most of you guys have probably seen on out and about the Easter egg being completed and me and a couple of uh, my friends tried to complete it a couple of times and we got to the step where um, I think it's like the second to last step where you take Rich Tofen's golden rod and you place it in the um, thingy mabob circle thingy so yeah that's how far we got and then things messed up and yeah so I got kind of bored of um, trying to do the easter egg so I ended up just watching the end of the video to see what actually happened and if you uh, this is a kind of spoiler so you might want to fast forward later in the video but um, uh, we I found out that eventually all you do is blow up the earth which and it's not even like a spectacular explosion and I'm joking explosion it's just like a normal boom and all it does is explode the earth and you get all the perks and 100G achievement and the gamer picture and I'm not sure that's really worth going through all that stuff I mean if you want to go for a high round I suppose it's easier to do because you could like get all the perks your pe um, teammate revives you in a oh yeah you can do it on solo so if you have quick revive you can just get yourself up I think I think it's you're basically invincible in solo then because if, oh no, because you only have quicker by three times, don't you? Oh, right, yeah, scratch that. So, anyway, like I was saying, if you have teammates, you can revive, they can revive you, and you can just carry on going for high rounds, because I think I've seen um, people on the leaderboards go to about round 75 and go. So, yeah, that's pretty interesting for you PS3 people to look forward to. Um, another thing i got on my mind is FIFA 12. Now, I, I, it's, sorry for that, it's more of a must buy tip for me than MW3, strictly because I think MW3 is more like MW2.5 because they've, Infinity Ward, not that I have a problem with them, they've made the next COD after apparently being sacked and they made a new company and blah de blah de blah, but um, I was actually really kind of looking forward to survival mode, but then when I found out it was only two players, um, on survival mode I thought that maybe that might have been a little killjoy they should have gone back to well not gone back to they should have let's say copied Gears of War 3 Horde and made it at least a four player co-op if not five or six just to make it more interesting for you guys to play with your friends and like have a laugh but they basically made it spec ops but with infinite waves of enemies and not zombies so you could say they're taking Sorry for that. They're taking different influences from different places, but to be honest, it depends on your point of view. Because I know some people they have like really close friends on Xbox that they do everything with no homo, unless the friend is a girl. In other case, go do your thing. Don't. Well, yeah, it's a random thing, but um, I've seen a couple of times where oh, well, I've seen some videos of how to pick up girls on Xbox Live, but. And I'm not like trolling on them and everything, but the only thing, well, I think personally, it's kind of sad that if maybe you can't, not that I doubt, well, not to be offensive here, but if most of you can't get girls in real life and you try to pick them up on Xbox Live, then you think that's a little bit, 
yeah, sad and stuff. Do you know, I'm just gonna move on from there. Back to FIFA 12. Um, I've seen all the trades for FIFA 12. I've seen um, KSI's videos, which have been really interesting to watch, and I've seen um, the screenshots of uh, FIFA 12 gameplay. Like Messi's stats are unbelievable, and I think Ronaldo's stats. I think EA tried to keep those ones secret. And they, because I knew they were on there for at least a week, and then they suddenly disappeared as if it was magic. And um, now they're nowhere to be found on the internet. So I think maybe he's ever been, because I know he's still in 89 rank, so he's ever been put down in really important things or moved up in really stupid places. And um, that is basically open for discussion somewhere else. But on, on longer with other features, um, I think. Along with, they included the tactical defending thing, which I think would be really helpful because I remember playing online and all people do is, um, uh, sorry, all people do is hold down A and B and your play players and their players would come to you like a homing missile, so to speak. And that would be really annoying unless you knew how to counter it and you could just play through balls and blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, that's another, um, game I was thinking of getting. Another one is uh, Gears 3. I mentioned that earlier of MW3 survival mode not being cooperative and the Horde 2.0 on Gears of War 3 looks amazing. It's got good graphics, good system. It looks like it could keep people entertained for hours and yeah that overall looks like a good game. Uh, FIFA Street 4, for people that already watched my channel I probably would have gone through these games already. Well, I'm not trying to like I'm not trying to like endorse myself here, but I'm just saying if you have seen the video already on my channel, you'll know that I talked a lot about, I went into depth on FIFA 12 about how if there's true injuries now, if you do a flip flap, you could then miss the flap on the flip flap and then you could break your toe, which on Ultimate Team could be um, really annoying for players, say you had Ronaldinho or Informer Ronaldo. If you had Inform Ronaldo or someone like that and you miss a flip flap and you break your toe, it could be really um, unfortunate for you. And another thing, which I think I'm the only person that complained about this, but I actually think that goalkeepers are overpowered. And I know it sounds like really weird, but think of it this way if you see players. With, um, sorry, so, uh, yeah. If you see goalkeepers with, um, I don't know, let's say 65 dive in. A shouldn't be able to die from goalpost to goalpost better than someone who said who has a 97 97 who hasn't does anyone I think Cassius has about 92 diving or something uh, but um, a player with like under let's say 80 diving shouldn't be able to dive better than a goalkeeper with more than 80 diving which I think is kind of unrealistic because um, the, uh, just because I think stats for keepers especially might be a bit overpowered I know there are a lot of players whose stats are either better or worse than they should be and that can be extremely annoying but I think goalkeepers are for the worst of that and I think they might, I don't think they've done anything about it in FIFA 12 but they probably should I mean I know they're not gonna find this video of random and then all of a sudden change the game just because a random tall black guy threatened them. Uh, no, I'm joking, but um, another game... Oh wait, ooh, the commentary's finished, I didn't even realise. Oh shit, um, so, yeah, oh crap, I lost track of time. Hopefully this was interesting for you guys to listen to and stuff. Um, so yeah, it's been done at Triggers with a slow motion kill cam, peace!